In today's video, we're gonna learn how to do the speed ramping effect in Filmora 11. And before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave some comments on the comment section below. So since we used the Bali video trailer na ginawa ko from way 2020, why don't we just use the raw clips that I also used for this tutorial. So I already imported all those items that I need for this video. And to start it off, I already picked the actual scene where I applied the speed ramp, which is yung sa scene namin sa Ubud. So let me just put it here dito sa timeline natin. And I usually put the settings of the volume down or usually naka mute and all we need to do is just find the exact spot where we can start yung mismo clip since what i'm trying to achieve here in this video or in this clip is the transition from one place to another then i usually start my clip from a plain scene usually at the back of alex or from a wall anything like that so on this specific video we're going to use her back and Pag pinlay natin to, it will zoom out and make a rotation around her. And this is where we're going to put our speed ramping effect and put the camera straight up to her back again to close out the scene. First, I'm trying to look for the exact spot where we can apply the speed ramp. Somewhere around 3 seconds, dito kasi magsastart mismo yung pag-revolve ko around the subject, which is her. So, speed ramping is applied mula dito sa actual footage and you have to look for the icon dito sa timeline which is the duration. So once we have already found kung saan yung sweet spot kung saan natin sisimulan yung speed ramping, you have to click the actual footage on the timeline and look for speed right over here. Since this is already in Filmora 11, you have the customized options for the speed ramping. So, meron dito customize, montage, hero moment, bullet time, jumper, flash in, and flash out. So, basically, these are the actual templates na meron sila as of now. But when I made this video, speed ramping na ginawa ko kasi, I only did it manually. So, ako yung nag dictate kung papaano yung pagbilis at saka yung pagbagal mismo ng footage ko while the camera is revolving around the subject. So, I'm going to do this on two setups. One is the manual how I did it, and the other one is when we apply the customized speed ramping effects that we have here in Filmora 11. So in order for you to identify kung saan mo gustong bilisan or saan mo gusto bagalan ngayon yung footage, kailangan natin ngayon hatiin. So we have to segregate the point where we need to speed up the actual video. Now from this point, kasi dito magsisimula ngayon yung mismong pag-revolve ng camera, now I need to look for the sweet spot where we can do the speed ramping effect, which is right after one second, let's just say. So I just have to cut this one down and look for where we are going to stop the speed ramping, which is almost right behind her. So the actual footage now is segmented into four, which is one, two, three, and four. First up is the normal speed. Second one is, or this will be the pre-start of the speed ramping. And the third one, where we're going to apply the speed ramping effect. So let's click it again. And now, we have to apply kung gaano kabilis na speed yung gusto natin. So we have the options on top, right over here. The duration where we had our timeline kung saan kung ngayon nilagay yung mismong speed ramping. Now we have to apply the keyframes on the segments that we need to speed ramp. So once you move this cursor going to your right, this will identify na we need to pick the speed faster and slower. And as you observe, once you adjust the speed meter over here, umiigsi din ngayon yung timeline ninyo. That means that the video should be faster or 1.05 seconds from the usual. So let's just say I'm going to apply at least, let's just say 2. Now, let's try to render this video muna so we can see it smoother. So at least the playback of the draft would be smoother and you would see the actual motion effect that I did for this clip. So 
So you see, once they hit the third segment of the timeline, the actual motion niya became faster. So now let's try applying the speed ramp effect of Filmora 11. Since this video that I'm editing is actually a montage of the whole Bali series that I did, which is also linked on the description box below if you haven't seen it, there's this timeline also here on this section wherein there are four keyframes. Keyframes are the dots that are located on the timeline. And if you have seen it at the middle of the timeline, that would tell us that we are on the normal speed of the video or as the line increases and hits the other keyframe key that means that the motion of the video is getting faster and once it drops it slows down so let's give it a shot and use the montage speed ramp effect movement mismo nung pag revolve ng camera around the subject was dictated according to how it was arranged dito sa keyframe natin it speeds up and then drops the speed right on the third keyframe. So, even if you already have the customized speed ramping effect that you have here, you can still edit this one out and move which part of your timeline to the motion of the video apply. So you can still move out the keyframes where you wanted the video to speed up or to drop its speed right over here. And there. That's how you apply the speed ramping effect using the Filmora 11. And if you like this content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video na rin. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Please don't text me when you're drunk. Ooh, or don't text me at all. Yeah.